When it comes to improving your video quality, the thing that a lot of people think about first is getting a new, better camera. But a lot of people never consider the fact that a lens, which is what your camera sees through, is actually a really important part. For me, I'm always looking for the latest and greatest camera technology, and I'm never really focusing on lenses. But how much does that matter? To test it out, we're going to be using a very cheap lens on a very expensive camera, and an expensive lens on a cheap camera. So for our setup, we're going to be using the Red Scarlet X. This comes in at about $20,000, and we're going to be using a cheap $50 lens that came with my Canon T3i kit. And for the cheap camera, we're going to be using the Canon T3i. It's only a couple hundred dollars, and we'll be using the Sigma 18-35mm art lens, which is $800. Now this Red Scarlet does shoot in 5K. This is only 1080p. So to make it fair, I'm using the Atomos, which can record in 1080p. That way, they're both the same resolution and nothing has a big jump over the other. Now before we get started playing back the footage, I do want to tell you one thing real quick. The camera's going to be labeled A and B. You're not going to know which one is which, but throughout the whole entire test, A is the same camera, B is the same camera, so pick a letter which you like better, and I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, what'd you think? Let me know your guesses down below. I was very surprised by the results. Camera A was the Red Scarlet with the cheap lens and camera B was the Canon T3i with the expensive lens. Now, I was expecting there to be a big difference, but there is really not. I don't notice much of a difference between either of these cameras. The thing I like about the Red more than the T3i is that it's a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper, and colors are more accurate. Now, I did color correct both of these to look realistic, not similar, but just realistic. And this one held up a little bit better and just looked better in the end. The teeth ride was just a little bit soft on everything, no matter how in focus I thought the clips were. And everything looks better on a tiny screen, so it was kind of hard to pull focus on this. But because I was using a nicer lens, it was a lot easier than using this cheap lens on the red. So the line between these two cameras, $20,000 versus $300, is very small when you have a different type of lens. So this just goes to show that you need to invest money in lenses as well as cameras. If you're looking about picking up a new piece of technology to improve your video, I recommend doing a lens, actually. You don't need a really, really expensive camera to get great footage. Again, the lens is probably the more important part so that's something that you should really consider and test out lenses on your current camera to see if it will give you the result that you're looking for. The Sigma lens provide a lot more features that are not on this Canon lens that I do like. We have nice big zoom and focus wheels. The zoom ring is very smooth, it's not choppy. There's a readout on the top of the lens which shows you your focal distance, where this one has very choppy zoom and the focus ring is super tiny. It's very, very hard and loose and it's very, very hard to pull focus, not to mention it's kind of loose and wobbles the video around as well. So what did we learn from this video? Well, lenses do make a difference. Before you upgrade your camera, you should upgrade your lens and see what may actually work better for you. But there you go. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know which camera you like better. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Iowa Tech One Tweet, and I will see you in the next one.